So if you have an admit at UT Dallas, the next step is to figure out housing. And today we're gonna to take a look at the apartments called Estates on Richardson, a popular apartment complex for international students. But the question is, is this right for you? Come check out and see all the pros and cons, costs, and if this society is where you wanna live for your degree abroad. Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob and at Chine Coaching, we're all about helping you be successful in your cross-cultural journeys. And one of those hard things is finding housing. What's an affordable, safe place to live? And we're gonna be covering an apartment here at UT Dallas in, in Dallas, Texas. We've got our good friend, Jayesh. So Jayesh, please introduce yourself. Hi guys, uh, my name is Jayesh and I am a Fall 21 student in MSBA. So this is my last semester and let's go. Yeah, so Estates on Richardson. Tell us what does it cost to stay here and what are kind of the layout floor plans? Uh, so the cost is in between 2000 to $2,500 per month, which includes your uh, water bill, your utilities. Like in utilities, I mean the garbage service and everything and the maintenance that they do. Uh, like except that, it is for electricity it is approximately between 100 to 150 dollars per month and then for wi-fi close to 40 to 50 dollars so in overall you can let's say pay 2000 for a month for just for the rent and then an additional 200 dollars for electricity and wi-fi great and what kind of floor plans can people find here so with floor plans uh you can get a studio apartment which will have like a, a restroom and then there will be the studio and then uh, me and my friends like we are currently living in a 2B2B and then there is 3B2B option as well and right now this, this particular flat it is uh, close to 1250 square feet which is pretty big as compared to like other societies and everything mm -hmm. and with 3B2B it is like close to 1500 square feet and the studio can be around 900 to 1000. Yeah, and compared to other apartments around, these are a little bit more spacious. Yeah, they, they are pretty, pretty spacious. So like we have many friends coming in here and I always see them saying like, your apartment is pretty spacious than ours. So yeah, it is. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Man. All right, covering some more details. Aditya, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, so, hi, I'm Aditya. I'm a Fall 21 student. I'm pursuing Masters in Information Technology and Management here at UTD. So, uh, yeah, I'll be graduating next semester. All right, at EOR, tell us about kind of the location, safety, and like transportation connectivity. So, the bus connectivity here is, uh, you know, is all right. So, there's one bus stop that is, depending on where you stay in the society, can be a bit of a walk. So we stay at the building that is most furthest away from the bus stop. It's a 10 minute walk. It's a pretty straightforward route, so that's fine. And uh, safety wise, it's it's a pretty safe society. And uh, you know, there are a lot of families that live here and also students as well. So it's pretty safe that way. And uh, with bus, uh, we're located on the east side. So the bus comes every half an hour. But uh, so you don't want to miss it. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want to miss it. You should time your walks and all, you know, accordingly. The graduate student assembly is actually they're working on uh, making the bus more frequent. So like uh, every 15 minutes. So that is something to look forward to for, you know, if you're going to stay on the east side. So if you're planning to study abroad, then here's two resources on how you can save money. First is Juno. Juno is a company that provides tuition loans and health medical insurance for students. We've had Chine Coaching community friends get approved and get great rates. Or you can also refinance your current loan to get a better interest rate or maybe find a better price on your student medical health insurance what the university provides as well. So check out Juno to save money and get a better tuition rate. We'd love to help you out with that. And a second great resource is WISE. WISE is my preferred way to wire and transfer money across the world. It's fast, it's secure, and it's cheap. They got the lowest fees. You also get a free wire transfer up to $600 if you use that link. So we're hooking you up with a free wire transfer. Again, WISE is how I send money around the world to pay friends, business stuff, and it's gonna save you a lot of money as well, passing money back and forth uh, to your bank accounts to pay that tuition. So WISE is, I highly recommend it. So again, if you guys wanna save money, check out Juno and WISE. We'll have the links to help you guys be successful on your journeys abroad. For some more helpful information, we've got Prithvi. Right. So, hi guys, uh, I'm Prithvi and I'm currently pursuing a master's in business analytics from uh, UT Dallas and I'm a spring 22 intake student and as you have met all of my friends uh, previously, they, we all are from Delhi. This is my third semester going on. 
Great. Now tell us more, just what are the amenities that we're going to find first in the apartment? Sure. So uh, talking about the apartment, as soon as you enter and it's kind of a raw apartment, so you will get the amenities like a washer dryer, AC vents and everything and everything will be working fine. Just you need to just take some basic things where you want to just uh, sleep kind of thing or a desk you will be needing. Yeah. So all the appliances will be there, just none of the furnishings like bed, right. couch, tables and right. stuff. Yeah. And then this place, EOR, has actually some really nice grounds right. and things for pastime. So what can thing people do outside here? Sure. So we have, as Rob mentioned, like we have grounds. You can just go out and walk and if it's a pleasant weather outside. And also we have indoor basketball courts. We also have virtual golf. We can just go and uh, play golf. It's kind of a virtual thing. And then we have squash courts, which is also indoor. And we have a swimming pool and we have two courts of volleyball. There are uh, things which like uh, the children can enjoy their flights and everything. The playgrounds. The playgrounds and mm -hmm. everything that we have. And they, are, they also have started uh, working on the squash courts and, like, and the lawn tennis court also. So we now have a lawn, lawn tennis court we can work on. And we have two gyms uh, actually over here which are open 24 hours. Now how's the management here with, you know, with repairs and dealing with the tenants? So uh, I would really appreciate the management over here. They're, they're like very friendly and as soon as you put the request of anything you want to get changed or replaced or worked on. So as mentioned by you in the uh, request, they'll be there on that time and they'll be very friendly and they'll help you in every way possible. And they'll also guide you if you need any guidance about how you can just work on these, those things uh, without just troubling them. So that's what I, I, I do sometimes. Like I don't want to trouble them every time. So I just ask them like, how do you do that? And they just t teach me on this, kind of give me some uh, basic thing about how how can I just change that things and th that's how I just do it no, not to I just prefer not to trouble them again and again <laughs> so our chat question for you guys is what do you think is the best apartment here at UT Dallas let us know in the comments what's your favorite one what do you think is the best one for the students now we're gonna wrap up with some pros and cons um, to help make that decision easier so Prithvi start us off sure so I would like to talk about the cons it's with me or uh, it's our apartment because it's kind of near to the highway so while sleeping there are, there are a lot of sounds and noises of the cars which are like kind of modified car and they have the exhaust which is which is kind of makes me very uh, kind of sometimes I'm not able to see, uh, sleep properly for that and I would like to talk about the amenities so or uh, the amenities which we have which is like the indoor basketball court and the yoga room and squash and also the swimming pool so it gets closed by 10 and after that if you want to just sit and hang out with your friends after 10 so you're not allowed to go there so yeah these are the cons which i feel like which if improved will be a good thing so some apartments are close to the highway with yeah. the noise and then some of the amenities close early at night close right right okay good to know all right aditya right um so before coming here i used to stay at market waterview which is uh, like right next to uh, eor itself uh, so one thing I, when I moved here was I found that since the apartments here are new, it's all very spacious and you know the uh, things look better. Uh, they they don't look worn out and stuff like that. So in Marki, a lot of uh, you know it's I feel since it's newer, this society is pretty well maintained. And uh, one more thing, one disadvantage this society has EOR has over Marki is that Marki has three bus stops. So, and we only have one bus stop which can be a bit of a walk and uh, at most at Marquee you are like uh, only five minutes walk away from a, from your nearest bus stop and you know Tom Thumb being right next to that place is, can also be you know an uh, advantage over there but otherwise apart I would say things here are much better and uh, one more con I would say here is that uh, the, you know it can be subjective but uh, you might find the lighting it can be dim at times so you might want to invest in a table lamp or something if you're studying so that, that is one thing i felt here right. uh, so i'm going to talk about uh, some of the like pros so obviously this society is like the flats here are way way more spacious than all the other societies be on the west side be on the east side you won't find any any flats having this much this much space this much bigger bedrooms bathroom sizes closets every everything is pretty big as compared to others uh, and the ne next thing is obviously Prithvi has mentioned to you before as well like the amenities you have almost everything here you you don't need to go to the university for playing or for hanging out and stuff you'll find almost all the sports and everything here and as compared to other other societies it has like way more amenities here so Here's your friendly reminder that you need to check out Juno and Wise, the two great resources to help you save money abroad on tuition loans, health insurance, and wire transfers. Check out the links if you want to save money. So different pros and cons for you guys to consider. 
um, with size, cost, location. Hopefully this video is gonna help you determine should you check this one out? Again, we'll have the link for the website so you can get all the details, how to talk to the management, how to book it. We've got other playlists as well for all UTD housing and a playlist for how to find apartments and housing in America, how to book them, how to set them up. So lots of great resources for you guys. Um, you guys, thank you so much um, for sh opening up your home, showing us and helping all the incoming students. Sure, thank you so much for having us. Yeah. yeah. And my friends, connect with us online on social media like Instagram, LinkedIn. Make sure you're subscribed to the Chai Coaching Newsletter for events and resources and tips. And we love having you being part of the community. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.